Hello Sagittarius, welcome to my channel. My name is Anya and this is Anya's Tarot and the Law of Time. I talk about galactic signatures and ascension and awakening and all kinds of wild things that maybe you are or not, are not aware of. Um, please remember to take what resonates and leave the rest behind. And this is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So if it doesn't resonate, check your Venus, your Moon, and your Rising. Okay? Let's see what we got from Spirit for my Sagittarius. What messages from Spirit? Okay. Wow. I got a lot of them. You're having the courage to do something. Let's see what that is. You have divine guidance, loving support, angelic assistance for your brilliant beliefs, your luminous life force, and your personal power. You're getting clear about what your plans are and you're releasing any kind of illusion that no longer serves you because you are co-creating with the divine right now, building your world the way you want it. And you may be learning wisdom through joy, art, or music. You may be a musician or you paint or you do something very creative. And you have sacred gratitude and reverent appreciation for that. And you tell the universe, but you need to set some boundaries here, Sagittarius. Okay. Spirit's, advi Spirit's advice is for you to set some strong boundaries and have the courage to do it. Because somebody I do feel like is draining your energy or draining your creativity, I should say, the sacral chakra. Let's see what we can get. Uh, you know what? I'm going to get the twin flames out first because it gives me a little more information on what's really going on on either side of this. Okay. Boat. Receiving what you need, progression, arriving, moving on, and closure issues. So there's, there's something that needs to be left behind here. So, because... It's, yeah, it seems like paradise and you enjoy each other very, very much, but somebody is crossing the other one's boundaries and it's causing them to want to move on. They want to have stability and security and permanence and growth and endurance and flexibility to where I feel like the other person is just having a good time. Okay. Okay. Endings bring new beginnings, growth, change, liberation, and transition. Coffin. So, more than likely, this is going to be a release reading. Let's see. You're going to have to release something, Sagittarius. Something that you need closure on. You, need, you definitely need some closure here. Because it's affecting your stability and your growth. That's for sure. You're calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visual visualizations help bring you together. So who, whoever this person is, you're calling them in. Okay? This could be the one. You've already met them. Okay? This is your paradise or their paradise but you deserve love. You are lovable. So if this person isn't, isn't showing you <coughs> the desire and the love that you're showing them, clearly decide what you want because it's gonna happen really, really soon, okay? Clearly decide. Whether you do or do not want this, make sure you use the wisdom through your creativity, not through your going, <laughs> through your growing. All right. Sex is just sex, guys. If this is the one, you're talking forever. So 
sure you're making that right choice. Let's see what we get for the present. What's going on? Yeah. All right. Somebody wants to get married here. And the other one's not sure. This is somebody from the past. This, is, this might be a relationship that's coming back together. Because I've got the King of Cups, which is the King of Potions. The Four of Presents. Because somebody's holding on to something out of fear. A possible contractor or a home. But they're being left stuck until they make a decision. Whatever this is that someone is holding on to right now, it has something to do with a home, something that they love. They're being held up for a reason. And we'll see what that reason is, or at least try to get as many answers as possible. What is the immediate future of the Sagittarius energy going forward? I don't do past. You know what happened in the past? I don't have to tell you that. My readings are timeless. Okay. Let's see. Wow. Okay. Well, whoever this person is, wants to work things out. They're very nurturing, they're very loving. I feel that. But at the same token, there's a lot of stress and fear involved in this. Maybe somebody wants to get married and the other one is just not sure. This is what's coming in the future. Maybe somebody's gonna be a parent before they're ready to be a parent. <coughs> Sorry, guys, the allergies are really bad here. <coughs> um, plus, I've been, you know, smoking a little weed. Um, <laughs> wow. What you don't see is a tower coming. Okay. This divine masculine or em emperor has this wish to marry someone, but the person that he wants to marry thinks it's just a, an illusion. And that's where the tower comes in. It's like, go! Oh! So, sorry, my Homer Simpson, uh, impression it's like it's like the way I see that is that somebody waited a long time waited a long time everything was hunky-dory and then when somebody finally decided they were gonna let go because there was it wasn't progressing there nothing was progressing it, somebody stayed in the nine of swords too long and the four of four of uh, Pentacles too long <laughs> so what I see coming, and what you don't see coming, is that this person is probably going to say, what's coming in my head here? I'm sorry, but I have other options to think about, other things to think about before I commit to you like that. Because there might be already a husband or a wife involved. Just say it. This is Spirit's advice. You got Leo again. You could be dealing, dealing with the Leo, Sag. Alright. I got Leo twice in the same spread. Somebody is seriously fighting some demons right now. I don't know if that's addictions. I don't know if that's you fighting each other. But somebody is fighting big time 
what they don't understand is that they're making it happen. There's some witchcraft going on. There's some fuckery going on here. All right. Some manipulation by, by a king of swords. So somebody else is in the mix telling this person, which is the page of pentacles, who might be even sick, okay? I'm not saying that they are, because I don't want to manifest that for anybody, but this person might not be well. And there's an ending coming. And somebody knows about it. They're scared to face it. They know that they have to be strong enough and get out of this lazy, I don't want to do anything energy because their son is being taken away from them, probably through some kind of illness. And there might be a king of swords involved here who is manipulating the situation? Who's making it worse than it should be? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why I'm saying that, guys. And just <coughs> that's what I'm getting from the cards. Goodness, I need to take a drink. Give me just one second. Man. Throat chakras blocked up. It's like somebody didn't want me to get that message out. But there is somebody here who may have even made this person sick. Maybe not purposely. <laughs> but you're gonna get news about it soon, if you haven't already. This person is not well. Let's see what the future is bringing. It could be mental illness with that Nine of Swords. It, it doesn't even have to be a death type situation because I don't, I just see somebody's light being put out. I don't see death. At least that hasn't popped out yet. So that's a good thing. In the immediate future, we have the Empress. So Maybe it's the Empress that is ill. Because the Emperor is over here supporting her because she is his wish. And she doesn't even see it. She, I, I'm, I'm feeling like she doesn't want to work on it. She's just all about herself. And she's just walking away. Like, <laughs> yeah, okay. So, you want to marry me? So, so there's about 10 other people, or seven at least. That's what I feel like she's saying, guys. She's using her intuition. She, she doesn't, she's looking for this passionate new start and nothing but the truth. She doesn't want any lies or any illusions here at all. Whoever this Queen of Swords is. You got the King and Queen, yeah. Because this involves money, a home, and another person. There are our three people on the board now. We have a, actually four. <coughs> but two of them can be the same person. We got Leo twice. We got Taurus. We got Aries. We have... Virgo, now we have a king of pentacles, seven of pentacles, a page of pentacles, a queen of wands, and a three of wands. So there are three people, actually four, but there are actually three people that are involved in this. Spirit's advice is that you're gonna have to let go of something, either money, or an attraction to another person because <laughs> just like before, there's something hidden here that you're not seeing and it's not letting me see it either. 
okay? The moon is here right in front of the Three of Pentacles. So it's not allowing me to see who's exactly involved with who here. It's just somebody is reaping what they've sown and somebody's making a very small offer to a Queen of Wands who is an entrepreneur go-getter. And it seems as if she's got a better offer from the, the King of Pentacles. Okay, just saying. So that's why somebody's lights going out. They're, they're losing to somebody who has more money than them. That's kind of sad, but true. Let's see what else I can find out for you. Hope you don't mind my coffee shop music. Yep. The passion's been ignited. Whatever this is, this Queen of Wands has someone else. And she is probably the Empress as well. And the Queen of Swords. Love begins. Triumph. Trapped in fear. Give me another, give me more information. Spirit, balance. Back to balance. Like I said, we have a perfect couple here. Choose wisely, whoever this is, because before you decide to end another relationship, make sure that the other one is real because I see a lot of illusions and I see a lot of things that you don't know about this Queen of Wands. There are things that are being very, could be you Sagittarius, that are being very shh. Even though this Queen of Wands, it's, like, it's almost like this Queen of Wands is keeping secrets. She's keeping secrets because she knows things before they're going to happen. Wow. Okay. Rejecting an offer. The author of your story. Precognizance says precog. Wealth is an inside job. And freedom from toxic situation. Yeah, Sag. I do believe this is you. Maybe, it, it, like I said, you take it out, it resonates. This is somebody who is already married and you know that, or, or they know you're married and you're writing this story because the precognance is that you're seeing it while it happens or, or before it happens, you know exactly what's gonna happen. Because the wealth is an inside job. The king of the king of pentacles, that's an inside job. You gotta be stable and comfortable in yourself because you're writing your own story. And I'm telling you, that's for the next 12 years, Sagittarius. So remember that you're rejecting an offer because you see what's gonna happen later. It's, it's a good gift to have. It's a good gift to have. And as I said before, I think somebody's married here and they're not being completely honest about that or they are and the other person just doesn't care. How many we got here? Health issues, abuse or abuser. Yeah, wow. Ooh, that just took a turn. Somebody here is being abused. And that's what the health issue is about. It's mental abuse. So whoever is doing this really, really, really needs to stop. They're about ready to see the devil in someone else mirror reflection whoever is is causing this other person to have health issues 
because they feel like watching them pisses them off. It just pisses them off. They're trying to free themselves from toxic shit, and they know that wealth's an inside job, but somebody here is very abusive, and it's causing somebody to have health issues or mental issues. What they don't understand is that you, you're you gonna get back what you put out. That's called the mirror reflection. Cleanse your space in your home and your mind. Cleanse, time to cleanse from the abuse, from the trauma. So this health issue can go away and you can begin to live in your truth and balance. You got a stalker. I know there's, there's three people here, guys. And whoever that third person is, is the outside influence. They're doing some kind of magic. The magic could be just the abuse itself because when you abuse someone, you end up in a narcissist empath paradigm that will cause literal health issues, okay? Not to mention mental health issues. It's a mirror self-reflection and somebody needs to clear their mind of it and understand that there is somebody who's following them around and I'm getting this really uh, distinctly here. There is somebody who thinks you're less than them or this is you. I don't think it's you. But somebody that thinks you're less than them so they look down on you. They they put you down. They they think you're in a whole different world than them. And they're playing with magic. So be very, very weary of anyone who messes with that stuff. I mean, this is to an, to an extent magic, but black magic, any kind of magic that, that is like a spell is going to come back to you tenfold. Whatever you put out, the universe is sending right back to you like a rubber band, like a boomerang. So please, 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 if you're out there doing that, please stop. Because you're only hurting yourself. You're not hurting anyone else. That is very, very frowned upon in the benevolent society. Got the word Lord. In reverse, sacred union, partnership, and romance on the bottom. So this is all about a relationship and three people involved in it. And whoever that third person is, is the person that is looked down upon and stalked and talked about. Let's see what the word Lord's got to say in the reverse for you. 118. 8, 9, 10. So this hopefully will be the end of this situation. All right. The, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put this up right, even though it came in the reverse. Communication, praise, and dishonesty. So like I said, somebody here is really uh, abusing and a person that doesn't deserve it. When the word Lord appears as your challenger, he gently warns of untruths, denial, and the unsupported thoughts and words in any area of your life. If you've been dishonest in any way, it's time to make amends. Change your tune. Otherwise, your impact on the world will not be as effective as you would like. Even if you were to be successful as an immediate result, there would be a price to pay later. What I tell you, you send it out, it comes back, guys. It, it's, that's just how it works. If others are being unsupportive towards you, know that it's them, not you. Don't take this world personally. Remember that you don't have to engage others when they project their own fears and negativity onto you. Another message here is that 
is about how you speak about yourself. Do you say self-deprecating words? Do you minimalize so that as not to intimidate others? Do you refer to yourself as less than beautiful? Time to change those unconscious statements now. And that's an exclamation point. It's not difficult to change things as we are all, always given a chance to make new decisions. As long as you remain positive and supportive, the rest will quickly melt away until all you perceive is the highest good for all. All you need is the desire to change and, and be positive and the word Lord will help you win this game of life. Only thing I got to add to this is if you're in a, an abusive situation, please get some help. Okay? Because as long as somebody can keep you from being free from this toxic energy, they're going to keep you from your gifts, being able to write your own story. Okay? They're going to hold you back because they're not interested in your desires. They're only interested in theirs. They're very selfish. So, like I said, you may be dealing with someone who's already married and that's how I'm feeling this. That's about all I got to say. Cause like I said, this guy's trapped in fear. He's like, I don't know what to do because, oh my God, I'm in love with somebody else and that. Yeah, okay. That's what I feel from that card. So take that as it resonates. Anyway, I'm tired. I've done like a whole bunch of videos today and I get to work in the morning. So I'm gonna go. I will see you guys probably within the next few days or so. I'm, you know, I'm just gonna keep going every day. So I'll see you guys next time. Till then, stay safe. Bye-bye.